Hey everybody, Tim here with tonight's episode of Star Trek The Next Generation Season 5, Episode 18, Cause and Effect. Another wonderful episode directed by Jonathan Franks. So this episode, it's, it's basically it's reminiscent of Groundhog's Day. The Enterprise is caught in a loop and they keep experiencing the same things over and over and over and over and over and over again um, for 17.4 days for whatever that's worth. And to kind of just cut to the chase because... Like, I love Groundhog's Day. I love this episode. I love things that involve this type of repetitiveness. repetitiveness. Um, but there's not a lot to it. It's all about the beginning and how you get to the end. So that's the beginning. And then when we get to the end, it turns out, like I said, we're caught in a loop and we keep getting sent to the back. Which, the thing that I love about this episode and... It just goes to show, like I said, Jonathan Franks is a wonderful director. He shot, every time we went back, it's shot in a different perspective. So, for example, the opening scene is always them playing poker. It's Worf, Data, Beverly, and Riker playing poker. And then one shot, it's from Data's perspective. One shot's from Beverly's perspective. One shot's almost an overhead. And it's from different angles. So... Unlike Groundhog's Day or other shows that have done a similar type thing where it's over and over and over again, where you see the same shot in that repetitive motion, Franks actually went out of his way to basically not make the viewer, us, get bored. And he does it from different perspectives, and it's really interesting. Now, some of the shots I don't necessarily like, where, for example... Riker and Beverly start realizing and they start predicting the hands and it's a very close-up shot of their face like stuff like that personally I don't care for but I still like how it's different and that's what makes it interesting so gotta go through my notes so it's interesting so we we get this and then again it's we're not a hundred percent sure what's going on in the beginning but the more times we go through this loop, especially this episode's basically a Crusher-centric episode, people start realizing it. And then we they finally realize how to send a message back to the beginning so Data gets it. Because, so as we're approaching this time loop, another ship comes out and collides with the Enterprise. And it causes an explosion. And the Enterprise is destroyed. So as we finally get to the end of the episode, Data, things change finally for the first time where we were able to predict the poker hand. Now everything's in threes and Data keeps seeing threes everywhere. And we get to the end, everybody has ideas. How do we avoid the ship coming at us? And Data realizes, oh, the threes are the pips on Riker's collar. Go with his idea. So they go with his idea everybody saves the day and that's the end it's a it's a wonderful episode i really boiled it down and i apologize for not doing this episode justice but it's it's a really really well done episode and then what's kind of interesting to me i guess is at the end we realize that this is the bozeman which has been missing for over a hundred years or no roughly 70 years, which puts it right between the motion picture and the Wrath of Khan. And it's interesting because when we see the captain of the Bozeman, he's wearing that red Starfleet outfit with the flap, which goes with what they're doing. So whoever the writers are who have, I'm sure, some sort of Star Trek Bible, they're doing a great job. Now, the captain of the Bozeman is the amazing Kelsey Grammer, fantastic actor. This is probably the second... I guess maybe third actor from Cheers. So we saw Christy Alley in The Wrath of Khan long before Cheers, her first acting debut. In one episode, we did see B.B. Newirth, and I talked about how she had to go from the Next Generation set to the Cheers set and back and forth. Now we have Kelsey Grammer, which, by the way, I guess they asked Christy Alley to make an appearance, maybe even as Lieutenant Savick, and she just wanted money, and so they were like, sorry, we can't really afford this. So, whatever, that's a set. So we saw B.B. Newirth, and now we've seen Kelsey Grammer. Kelsey Grammer's amazing. He's always amazing. And I guess this is actually the first time that Kelsey Grammer and Patrick Stewart are together. So I don't even know, with the filming of this, if Kelsey Grammer and Patrick Stewart met... 
because they're they're only talking through the communicator. But years after this, Patrick Stewart makes an appearance in Frasier, and then years after that, we get into X Men, where we have Patrick Stewart's Professor X and Kelsey Grammer as the Beast. So it's kind of interesting. This is their first meeting, and then they go on for years after this, talking and being friends, whatever. So overall, this is a great episode. I love time loop episodes. I don't know why. It's just kind of my thing. I find them enjoyable. So for those who have seen this one, do you guys like time loop episodes? Is that a plot that you like or is that a plot that you guys find boring? I compared it to Groundhog's Day. It's probably the most famous reference. Whatever. So for those who have seen it, what did you guys think? What did you guys think about Kelsey Grammer? Personally, I wish we would have seen him again. I, there's ton, there's novels about the Captain of the Bozeman being in the time and stuff, but I wish we would have seen Kelsey Grammer again. That's just me. Thank you guys for everything. I appreciate all of you, and I will see you guys next time for the great episode, First Duty.